morning guys it is currently quarter past nine i'm still in bed oh i've got a new bedroom by the way there'll be a room tour coming soon um but i thought i'd like make a video today because it is gcse results day and i'm pooing myself because I don't think I will get the results that I want even though I worked incredibly hard I feel like I overstretched I overstretched I overstressed my brain so much that it's just gonna like have not paid off at all <sighs> I'm not gonna open them at school because I'm too stressed about it, I don't want to open it in front of people. I'm gonna get home and then open it and then I'll film like I'll tell you what I got if I feel comfortable telling you. Now the reason I'm worried is because maths and English I'm not too worried about any other subject at all apart from maths and English. And maths and English are the ones that I am most likely going to fail because my brain does not work mathematically for a start so in our last mock I only just managed to get a five which is actually my target so I feel like I'm either going to go down which is a four which is technically a pass but is not acceptable for my college um so yeah but on my last mock i did get a five but i was like 20 marks off a six so i'm hoping i am hoping with like all my heart all my fingers and toes and whatever across that i either get a five or a six at the very six for the most five at the least so yeah english i am absolutely like i can't breathe because of english the papers i think were quite easy but when i usually when i think papers are easy they're not like well usually when papers are easy for me they're like i've just done them completely wrong so, in, a, in my last mock, my very last mock before the actual exams, on my English language, I got a four. And on the mock before that, I got a five. So I went down. So I'm worried that I'm going to go down again and get a three. Or keep it a four, which is actually still not a pass. <sighs> The thing, I'm really worried about not passing them because obviously you need them, I need them at five at least to actually not reset them in college and that's the one thing I don't want to do because I don't want to go through them subjects that I didn't like, that I couldn't do properly for another year. Or another a year and a half, I don't know. But yeah, I'm stressed out about English and maths. Science, <laughs> biology, biology I'll pass, I think. Science, I'm not actually worried about. I mean, I can't do uh, physics or chemistry. Biology is technically the only science I can do. So I am looking forward to my biology result, but not my physics and chemistry because that chemistry papers were basically maths papers and <laughs> you know how good i am at maths i may get a high grade in drama because for my component one with my portfolio and my actually acting stuff stuff i got seven so We've got another component to add on to that and the actual written exam. So I'm pr I can't pray with one hand, but like I'm praying. General studies, 
I'm not bothered about because apparently that doesn't actually count as a proper GCSE. And I don't understand because it's like, it's not like R and L. It's not like half a GCSE. It is a full GCSE, but my college I want to go to does not accept it as a full GCSE. So can't think of any other subjects at the moment. And I'm ill. I've got like my nose is like stuffed and it won't stop going in. <sighs> My mum's just texted me. Oh, she's coming home soon. That means I'm gonna have to get my results soon. Uh, but my school doesn't. Um, I can't get my results at like. Oh, this angle's so bad. I'm going back down. My time, my time thingy, my time slots are like half nine to twelve, and it's. 22 minutes past. <laughs> Fun. French. French. No. I'm shaking. <laughs> French might actually go all right. Like, I'm not hoping for a really high grade. But I'm not hoping for a low one either because I was quite good, but not like really, really good at it. Like, really smart. But I was like enough to understand it but then the the papers that I did were <laughs> difficult <laughs> I must admit oh PE the papers were easy when I was doing them but the grade boundaries are actually quite high probably because the papers were easy, were easy. oh grade boundaries now I've seen the grade boundaries for the AQA ones Maths isn't on there, I don't think, and probably the one I'm most stressing about because I, I can deal with English. <sighs> but the grade boundaries for English are actually quite high. I'd say last year, like a 47 was a 5. 86, or around about that, is now a 5. So it's gone up like... I can't be, I, I can't do the maths. See, I can't do mental maths. I'm shocking. I'm not going to pass maths at all. Anyway, right, I'm going to go get ready because my mama's going to be home soon. Let's do a sneaky time lapse while I'm getting ready. And I will see you either when I get home or when I actually go into school. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> is now 10 to 10 in the evening and I haven't told you anything about my results I know I promised you that I wasn't going to open them at school and I was just going to come home and film this and tell you but I couldn't help myself at all I was too nervous too anxious I was shaking like mad like I could not even hold the envelope straight I was that anxious and before you see it say anything 
exactly like I can hear you. I know I look like a mess, my hair needs brushing out, I have no makeup on at all, and I'm just ready for bed because I'm so tired. So, this little piece of paper here. <coughs> This little piece of paper here. Sorry, my uh, camera just stopped filming. I just stopped filming there. I don't have enough storage on my new card. But no. So, this little piece of paper here is officially my exam results. Okay. Let's start with my highest one. So, the blue correspondence. <coughs> History. I got a grade seven, which is in an A. Woo. Um. Okay. So it just went off. <laughs> um, English, both English language and English literature. I got a six, which I am very, very relieved about because I think I've got a disease. <laughs> no, I'm very, very relieved about because I was so worried about not passing this at all. I. Honestly, once I looked at English and maths, I'll tell you after, I started to cry because I was so damn relieved that I didn't have to reset anything. I was like, thank you, God. Anyway, both Englishes, I got a six. I was mind blown because I can't do English language or literature and that is the, actually the highest grade I have ever got for English in my life and that is no word of a lie. Looks like revision does pay off guys. Um, I also got a grade 6 in drama which is a B. I was hoping for a 7 but I did screw up a bit in my Let's try this again because it's just done it once again and I feel like it's not it's gonna do it again if I don't hurry this up. So where was I? English drama, yeah I've done drama. This disappointed because I got a seven in my component one, which isn't a so I think and I know I missed messed up my theory, so what can you do? Um Got grade fives in maths, woo, and PE, and in general studies. But general studies still counts as a grade C. I'm too close to the camera right now. Uh, I'm still gonna pass maths. <coughs> and that's my target, so woo. Anyway, um, and I got grade, four, grade fours, which is uh, still a low C, which is still a pass in biology, chemistry, French and physics. So I still pass them all French. However, my teacher came up to me when I got my results, I was sat on stage, she came up to me and went, I am going to get your French remark because I'm not happy with your math. And I was like, whoa, what? She was like, I feel like you were, must have panicked in one of the reading or listening exams and you like made a couple of mistakes she was like i can't promise it'll change but i at least think you should get a five and i was like wow um okay but i am pretty disappointed with my uh french score i did high i did the higher paper i did the higher tier and i said to her i didn't want to do the higher tier because i don't think i i wasn't good enough for it but you know she put me on it anyway and i got a grade four so Woo!